Hi, I'm Rosh from Energy Matters. We are here in South Melbourne at Enphase HQ. We're here to take a closer look at the Enphase IQ8. We've seen it installed at Jesse and Mel's house in Melbourne, which looks absolutely beautiful. But I'm really, really excited now to come and meet Duncan and find out more about that technology. Come and join us as we have a further conversation with Enphase. Duncan, thank you so much for inviting me down today. I'm so excited. This is the first time I've actually been to your showroom and it looks amazing. Uh, before we get stuck into the technology itself, tell me a bit more about yourself. I know Wilf obviously fairly well, uh, but you, you know, we've, we've kind of come across each other many times, but we've never got to have a proper conversation. So what's your background, Duncan? Yeah, well, it's a really interesting question. I do get asked it a bit these days. Been around the industry for quite a few years. So, um, Started out in Australia working in solar back in 2001. Wow. And uh, have cut my teeth the proper way. I've been working as an installer in the industry for well over 12 years uh, before I came into working at Enphase. Um, and so that's, that was a wonderful experience. A diverse range of jobs, diverse range of locations. It's been amazing actually, I really enjoyed working in the industry. And you've really got to see the growth of solar power in Australia as well. I mean, I've only been in the industry since 2009. Yeah. I mean, energy since, you know, 99, 2000. But for you to be involved in solar that early on, you would have seen some significant changes to technology. Yeah, it's really mind-blowing how the technology has really just uh, diversified and shifted from what it used to be, just quite a basic concept of the system. Now these systems are just highly technical. They do a range, have a range of benefits in the home. And that's what's so interesting about working with the products that even Enphase produces. I really enjoy working with you know, a, a leading edge company that pr provides a range of solutions for the home. I mean, Enphase literally are a giant in the industry. I mean, I know a lot of people out there know of Enphase, but there obviously are gonna be a number of people that don't. I mean, it's only recently you've become more sort of, I suppose, more visual in the sense that you now have a battery, you have your system controller, which we'll talk about in a second, until then it's been a micro inverter that hides behind a panel. So no one really gets that brand exposure or not as much so in the past. Tell me a little bit more about the technology itself. So it's all, obviously you all started off with micro inverters. What are micro inverters? How do they work? And why should people have them? Well, micro inverters <laughs> are a really unique concept, right? And uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a product that uh, is, provides a lot of curiosity in the industry because it is so different than traditional um, inverter technologies. Now, really, what the inverter needs to do is it needs to get the power from a, from a solar panel and allow that to be connected into the home so that the home can benefit from the solar on the roof. Yep. Now, the microinverter technology really uh, changes the concept and says, okay, we want to we want to give power and benefit from every individual panel in the home, uh, not just the entire system. So every individual product installed can provide a true benefit into the house. And so the technology, the uniqueness of the technology, comes about from this little device. <laughs> and uh, here's what I had found earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, often people say, oh, it's just a big. Big inverter shrunk down to a small one. Well, it's it's not actually. It's uh, this product is uh, uniquely designed to uh, fully benefit um, the output from a solar panel. And so the benefits of this technology, which um, I should probably go back and refer to how it came about in the first place, is that Enphase, uh, all the way back in 2006, uh, the two founders, Raghu Balia and Martin Fournage, uh, sat down and said they really wanted to provide a better solution in the home. They felt that solar technology was a bit stale uh, and didn't provide a true um, uh, outcome for the consumer. So they said, let's buy, get a product that we can uh, develop commercially that allows uh, to maximise the performance of every single panel on the roof of the house. And I can't think of a better way uh, to do that with uh, the technology that they brought to market, which is the micro inverter. Because I remember back in my early days with selling solar power, I mean, you know, when you're sitting down with a customer and they're saying, well, you know, what happens if I've got this massive tree at the front of my garden, yeah. you know, and, you know, what happens if the, if the sun's shining through that tree, will it affect the performance of the panels? And the unfortunate answer was yes. I mean, like, if it's casting shade on even one of those panels, potentially you're going to knock out the entire string. And that was back then before you had, you know, the sort of splits, you know, the, the perk um, thing going on, but, um, or split cells. But, um, but, but, you know, I, I, when microinverters then came out, I mean, it literally revolutionized the industry because if you were unfortunate enough to have 
you know, a lot of potential issues or shading issues around your home, you know, there was no solution for you. And the microinverters, you know, opened people up to that technology and saying, you know what, you can now have solar power, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I never really knew of any other brand than Enphase back in the day doing microinverters. So clearly you guys have been pretty much the leaders of that, of that particular segment of the market for some time. Enphase has been incredibly successful at what they do and a lot of that goes into just the investment they put into the uh, research and development of the microinverter technology. I've actually got a really interesting fact for you that a lot yeah. of people are not aware of. Uh, that Enphase's uh, knowledge base is actually here down under. The engineering division of the microinverter centre of excellence is based in Christchurch in New wow. Zealand. No way, yeah. and you're obviously being here with yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm, I've uh, moved across the ditch many years ago and yeah. uh, uh, the nice thing about that is that we've got this sort of an incredible team of engineers uh, that develop this product for the global market and you know they're close to home so we've really got a good resource here ourselves here um, if we ever want to call on the engineering team and uh, uh, learn a bit more about the product or um, or maybe make improvements as we see fit for the market. Yeah. Fantastic. And look, this year has been a very, very exciting year for Enphase. And, um, you know, we were chatting earlier, when I was chatting to the camera earlier on the outside, we were at Jesse and Mel's house in, um, in St Kilda recently, yeah. Yeah. filming a rep an episode of Renovate and Rebuild, which we can't wait to see, which features Enphase. And it looks beautiful on their walls, but what's incredible is the technology you've introduced this year is an absolute game changer. Now, um, obviously you've gone from an IQ7 to an IQ8. I mean, I know what that means for my iPhone when it jumps up in the model, but tell me what that means for, um, for you guys in terms of a microinverter. What are the core differences between that IQ7 to the IQ8 in layman, please? Yeah, well, <laughs> well it's, a good, it's a good question. We get asked it a lot. Um, uh, as we develop and uh, uh, improve our platforms and develop our platforms over time, we, we do generational changes in the technology. Uh, so so the, actually the naming of the product has a lot to do with the uh, significant changes that occur. So uh, the current products that are in the marketplace are called IQ7, 7 being the seventh generation of microinverter technology that Enphase uh, ships worldwide. Uh, and then we've now gone into the eighth generation of technology and we call that IQ8, so the range of products under the IQ8 banner. Now, it's, it's more than just the name, it's also about the change in the technology itself. And so Enphase has gone uh, through to make um, uh, improvements into the responsiveness of the microinverter and also create some very unique benefits using IQ8 technology. And the key thing here with the IQ8 microinverter, which I'm holding in my hand, is that uh, it allows us to be able to deliver um, uh, the AC grid directly from the microinverter itself. This was something that we hadn't done previously in the technologies. Now, now that's important because then we can take this microinverter and we can apply it to many, many different scenarios. We might be able to use it at a, at a, under a solar panel or we can do some pretty cool stuff with it. We can actually put it inside our battery product and then create this really impressive solution now for the home, where the home can benefit not only from uh, solar panels, but also from an in-phase storage battery as well, called the IQ battery. Which is absolutely fantastic, and a nice lead on through to the battery as well, because <laughs> you guys haven't done batteries until now, and um, the fact is you've had a massive fold in the you know, microinverter market. You know, I know your retailers, and we know a lot of the installers personally, who love installing your yeah. product, and have just been like, you know, crossing your fingers that you were going to put in, you know, sort of um, launch a battery product that you now have. So tell us about the IQ battery, because it sounds awesome. Yeah, so um, we were actually standing right in front of them, so I might just <laughs> move over and, and uh, uh, stand here and talk to this. So this is what we call the IQ Battery 5. And now, as I mentioned, it also contains microinverters, and uh, that's one of the unique elements of the microinverter technology, is we can really put this product through its paces and put it in a range of different applications and get some true benefits. So the, the great benefit about using the microinverter, we have produced 45 million microinverters worldwide. Wow. And if we've got 45 million microinverters built and we know very well, we can then take this technology we know very well and put it into other technologies such as storage technology and know, that, and, know and trust and understand that technology to know it's going to work for uh, the longevity of the product. So we give the, the storage product a 15-year warranty, which is very unique in the industry. That's huge. Yep. Um, so we're using a product that we already know. It's nothing, it's nothing new um, because we've already developed and, uh, with technology and engineered this millions of times over. Uh, when it comes to this battery product, we bring out one size. So it's a, a five kilowatt hour battery. Uh, we call it the IQ Battery 5. Uh, and 
uh, that means that uh, with using a microinverter product, we can actually uh, simply um, uh, have the flexibility to allow to expand in a modular way in the home. So maybe someone has a, uh, a, a low uh, need, a small need for extra um, power in the home and energy, yep. so they might just need one battery. Maybe they've got a small solar system, so they need a, a small enough system, uh, a battery system to be able to be charged correctly. And it literally allows and them then to like, you know, you know, get a battery installed, yep. um, you know, understand how much they're actually storing and how much they need to discharge in the evenings or early morning. And then of course if they're you know, getting through that five kilowatts really, really quickly, they can add another five kilowatt and just keep on building up. Is there a limit to how much they can add? Uh, well, it's, it's a great, very flexible product and so um, where it comes into a design in the home, practically speaking, every battery gets connected into a control board. We call that the IQ system controller and actually you're standing right next to one here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, so, so this board on the wall is required for every uh, storage installation. Now, now this board we, we advise that you can have up to four IQ battery fives okay. connected just with with a system controller, so so that that allows for flexibility in design. You can have one storage battery. You could have up to four IQ battery fives connected together in the home. And when you add more of these products together, what you're getting is um, a larger capacity, which allows uh, you to use uh, uh, the power uh, energy for longer within the home. So if you've got a high energy demand, you may want additional batteries yep. uh, to support that throughout the day, and so you get more benefit from the battery over time. Fantastic. And how does like the M phase product differentiate from you know from its competitors? I mean, if you're looking at a traditional string inverter, you know where maybe you have two or three sort of like MPPTs, so again, three or four different direct or two or three different directions versus the uh, microinverter, which means you can have panels literally on every single face of the roof and you know, manage those panels independently. Then connecting that to battery, I mean, what would you say is the core differences between a traditional series, um, you know, a traditional string inverter versus the M-Phase product connected to a battery? Well, some sort of key differences uh, that I can well, think are really important for the system owner is that one that we, we describe a system generally, a microinverter system, as an all AC system. Yeah. So uh, there's distinct differences between the, the way that solar products are installed in the home. Uh, uh, traditionally solar products use a DC wiring. Uh, DC wiring is a different kind of electrical connection in the home. Uh, whereas if you use an AC connection, that's what the home is already connected with in the first place. So that means it's, it's a, a very simple installation uh, and, and a neat installation from a homeowner's perspective. We can look, it looks very tidy on the wall when it's yeah, mounted. Yeah, But it's also electrically safe because um, we're not running uh, a, a DC wiring within the home. And so that's one of the goal of the microinverter products is that we keep any um, DC wiring directly inside the product and we're not taking that cable outside across the house. Which is what typically happens at the moment with the standard installation. That's correct, that's correct. Interesting.